fighting off against the best Bowser in NA anyway, against each other. Gonna be for an exciting time, let's get it. All right, so now, if you know what Yoshi does, big combo boy suppresses the air. Yeah. And you know what Bowser does, controls the ground, gets his grab and you're done. Yeah. You would expect this to be a very fast battle, but a lot of this boils down to how, how well the damage can get racked up from both sides. Because even though Leon's gonna have no issue with racking up the damage, catching Yoshi is a little bit harder to uh, to do. Well, he's having no trouble with it because Suarez is like charging in. He is holding forward, so he racks up all that damage. But all he wants is that one singular hit. Be able to rack up 70 on off of one swing. Gonna get that seismic toss on the platform. It's close enough, man. Yeah, right. One more time. Ooh. Out Side by the ledge on the plats are the most dangerous spots to be for Yoshi. So. Suarez has got his work cut out for him as far as space that he's allowed to contest against Leon. That being said, though, Bowser's a big body. He's going to find himself into a lot of combos, into a lot of traps that Suarez wants that, to set up. That egg was humongous. I, I've never seen an egg that big. Bro, that's organic. You only find that at the, the farmer's yeah, market. Yeah, farmer's market, boys. All right, dropping out with the Nair. Very common combo star, but because Suarez is able to use his, like, uh, super armor to, like, double jump right through that forward air and swing. Oh, there what a setup. Go. Off the egg toss. You're going to see that egg be the very valuable hit confirmed for yeah. a lot of Suarez's as kills in this game. Well, when Bowser's like in that spot, it, there's not much he can do. Like, he just has to kind of get, he's always going to do air dodge and then forces himself to get punished right afterwards. It, it's tough. Well, he has the, to make a call. That's the thing is that Leon's a very bold player. And I feel like a lot of players, especially in Tri-State, know the faults of that type of play. So if you're able to contest properly, Yoshi gets big combos off of little hits. He's yeah, just got to yeah. not get called out by Leon because that's where Leon always finds his fame and fortune. I mean, you can just combo him vertically, get him off the top, and now Suarez has a dab to bring this to a his final stock. But Leon can easily close this out. Just needs to get like one Koopa Claw, one back air, something. But Suarez just racking up this damage. Oh, he's not he done to, yet. He wanted a spike. He got the sour spot. He wants to end it all. He wants to, he really wants to give it into Leon. And that's really good to get those stocks so early because Bowser's the heaviest character in the game. So that the early, faster you can kill him, the better. Don't let him rack up that rage. Okay, can use the command grab. You can't be holding shield against Bowser midair because he has that he has that option. Some characters it's free, but not against people with command grabs. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. Between flying press and then uh, like up, Bowser's mates? already very generous grab. It's super dangerous when you're trying to contest Leon. Got away from him to be in the air because if you can avoid that flying press grab. He doesn't have as many options in the air. He's going to have to go for the Flying Fortress. going to have to go for Nair. I get shocked by that egg size every single time. It is blowing my mind. Tries to go for the air dodge. Oh, oh. He forced out the air dodge with the egg toss, then got the punish right afterwards. It might have been better for Leon to just potentially DI away and avoid the egg, but I'm not sure if that would have worked. So he just went with his gut, tried to air dodge through right there, and just got the freest punish. There's nothing he could have done right there. It was, it was, that was checkmate once he tossed that egg. New Jersey doesn't have that many Yoshis, and none I would say that are up to the caliber of Suarez, so. I hate Long Island. Same Sorry, bro. what were we talking about? Same, bro. What were we talking about? <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about? It's a lot of Yoshis that we're used to, at least <laughs> uh, back at home, but other regions, you don't expect this level no. of dinosaur all over you. Yeah. No, like, I like, actually, so, I know, I, unpopular opinion, I like Yoshi. I think he's fun. I think it's a fun character. I just think there's too many Yoshis down there. Like, get some variety down there. Hey, bro. listen, I'm with you, man. I'm All right, with you. Battlefield, game number two. Suarez has a fantastic lead. And something on the likes of Leon, you know, like, Suarez hasn't really, in my opinion, proven himself outside of the Tri State area yet. Like, he hasn't, like, traveled and done really good work. Whereas Leon has. Leon has proven himself. So, for Suarez to get this win on Leon would speak wonders for him. And this is a PGR event, mind you. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's a C tier, B tier, I'm not sure. It's a B tier. It's 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 value has wavered thanks to all of those who have dropped yeah. in and out. But, but it's still PGR, so like these wins do matter. On top of that, you already set the narrative just right for Suarez. Mm -hmm. He's been placing 17th, 33rd at a lot of events, just recently getting 25th at Dreamhack Atlanta. But every time Not he's getting been, that big win. He hasn't gotten the big wins yet. As far as what he has to claim here in the oh, season of PGR. Oh, he's done. Oh. Good tech. I, so I thought he was going to be done because Suarez was going to go for like the forward air. But Leon did a fantastic job of mixing up when he's going to break out of the egg. But then again, another checkmate situation gets caught by the egg toss. Egg throw on the edge. And it leads into a kill. Right now, Suarez has only claims to fame are a win on Muni, so a win on Light and PGR events, which are nothing to scoff at. But a win on Leon would be a huge mark for his grade. And likewise, 
Leon, it's it's hard to meet his peaks on a consistent basis, having played phenomenally at Defend the North, having played fantastically at Smash and Smash, trying to meet up to those standards in this uh, this version of the PGR rankings. It's tough. But something I'm starting to notice in this matchup is uh, Suarez is getting a lot of aerial command grabs with that uh, egg lay. And it's catching Leon off guard a lot. He thinks he's safe to hold shield, which is a little odd because he has one himself. He knows that strategy and it's working against him. So hopefully he starts to adapt to that. You know, funny enough, Yoshi and Bowser sort of shades he's of the dead. same game plan. Egg toss whereas, off stage. Where Leon wants to go for those big hits with Bowser and just melt his opponents like he'll do with that when we're down there. Suarez is more of the combo-oriented type where he needs that hit confirmed to lead into the kill like we've seen multiple times already with the A into the neutral. Bro, I love when Leon goes for that downer on the ledge like that because if it hits at 0%, it might not kill him, but it's going to put him in a pretty bad position. Okay, good mash out. Right now he's at very low percent. And this is going to be a heaping full of damage Leon's going to want to thank for. Firebirth actually comes in big handy for this. Leon's starting to adapt there. You saw him trying to land down with that, uh, that command grab. He jumps, and that's how you beat that. You're trying to chase after him, kind of gave up stage control in the process. Tries to find his way back, goes for a rather greedy down air. Does it again because he's Leon and that's just what he does. No grab. Was he expecting a second spot dodge? I think so. He was expecting some sort of option, but it wasn't a good call. Forwarder sets the offstage play. See what Leon's able to do here. I like how Leon is trying to retreat more into center stage. Take that safe space that you have Bro. and bring yourself closer was into that, the platform. Was that on purpose? Was he mashing out and decided if he just came out? Because that's kind of what it looked like, bro. <laughs> but we take those. No, no, Leon, he might have actually just mashed in such a way where he knew he was going to break out and commit to it. But again, we have an air dodge coming out, so who knows? Now, we haven't touched upon it yet, but Battlefield, I feel, is a really dangerous pick for Leon that's starting na just now to work into his favor. This is a phenomenal stage for Yoshi and how well Yoshi is going to be able to combo across it, fight out from center stage, and end up stocks from off stage like we've seen Suarez do throughout the game. But the presence of those platforms being in the triplat formation gives Leon such a good fortress to defend and so many options to kill off of flying press. He just yeah. needs to be able to survive long enough to take advantage of it. Bro, Le Leon's counterpick battlefield, it gives him the ability to just close the distance. If Suarez wanted to, he can't run away. He can't get away. We have another command grab happening on the platform, and all of a sudden, Leon finds himself with a percentage put lead. Try to get that back here. Good spacing from Suarez. He had to back away last Ooh. second to avoid it. Spot dodge coming out. Breaks the shield on the down Something Leon's not uh, insanely familiar with. Happening to him, another up smash coming out. Suarez with a 2-0 lead. A hell of a mix-up, too. Watch that. The jab won the instant aerial downbeat to guarantee the shield break. Again, and that's another game for Suarez. Bro, the more I watch this, the more I'm starting to understand these characters are kind of the same in some regards. They, they are. Both, they both got the downbeat shield breaks. They both got command grabs. Like, they both really? want to get in your face and mash buttons. Like, I get it. The, really, the only difference is how much one of them is just slamming you with one hit and how much one is, like, pummeling you with 30 hits. Okay, I, if I first you don't succeed, try, try again. Battlefield for game number three. And this is like Leon's final counterpick. It is down the, to the wire, so. The double egg lay. Uh, you know Suarez wanted the triple. He always does. Greedy little lizard he is. Yeah, he's paying the price for it, 57. That egg is honestly Suarez's best friend in this matchup. We've already seen how well it comes in clutch for Bro. killing. But saving him out of a lot of Leon's more reliable hit confirms I'm is so valuable. I'm wondering if Leon's getting caught by these Iglys so much because he's afraid of committing to a jump. Because as Bowser, like jumping, like it gives you access to those arrows and stuff, but like Bowser thrives off of being grounded. It gives him access to his tilt options, his uh, his grabs, you know, with not the command one. And additionally, of course, one of Bowser, and I feel even Leon's most powerful tools, shielding. How often do you see Flying Fortress out of shield? Just something to break away and give free damage. Leon approaching with shields, usually one of the finer aspects of his Bowser play. But here... That was such a smart option. I'm so what? sorry. That was a smart option. Going for a down air because every single time he's found himself in that situation, the egg lay always leads into a trap. He either gets hit by it and dies or baits out the air dodge and dies. So just going for the most aggressive option to just call it out, smart stuff from Leon, adapting. And also, one thing we just saw right there, something I don't think I've seen in this matchup yet, we saw Suarez spacing down smash at its maximum distance, and it was safe from grab. Mm. Suarez is playing such a good anti-grab game against Leon, and I feel like that's why we're seeing Leon struggle so much in an otherwise unorthodox matchup. 
tried to empty hop right in front of him and get that grab. Okay, that down air from that far away, Suarez baiting it out. It's like, again, he's do he's been doing that a lot lately. Off and the top off the platform. Yeah. Yes, sir. Get him, got him, good. Stock two, commence. <laughs> That's still at 91%. Now, I know there's a big boy. He let go of shield. Yeah, he's smart. He's not going to fall for that same trick twice. That, it was, he hit the first part of it, so that was kind of scary. They're out of shield. Want to see if he wanted to go for an aggressive option. Going for a punish right after the forward smash. That was going to be right in his face. Double jumps right through that forward air. All right, bit of a tense Finally. situation there. Bit of a hiccup on Suarez's end, and Leon's making him really pay for it dearly. What's the re... Neutral there, all right. Swar oh my god, Leon has not been getting these ledge options against him. Just take the egg throw that time around, didn't die for it at too low a percent, but now he's at 156. Opting to recover low, so Suarez really couldn't do anything about it. Has to go for the re-grab and leave himself completely wide open for that forward air spike. And now Leon finding himself in his potential final stock of the set. The one thing that's How the about whiff? <laughs> what? Yoshi's he a slippery one, yo. The Z axis. Suarez is completely mentally mapped out where he needs to be and not be to avoid these down airs. Look at them coming. Leon's more like a stage hazard right now than a player. Okay, Leon's, look at the spacing coming out from both players. No one wants to get too close to him until he finally just goes for the downer, tries to spike him off the top, but still living. Fantastic DI coming out from Suarez, goes back to the ledge, he just goes for the egg toss. He has a stock to play with, so this is the type of game we're going to start seeing from him. Kind of looking a little bit like Amsa from Melee a bit. The passive play with the eggs I actually really like because it's helping Suarez with dead. bleeding out. <laughs> yeah, that's a very dead Yoshi. It's helping bleed out all those options from Leon that he would otherwise use in some sort of desperation tactic. And this is Suarez on the verge of a solid 3-0 over Leon. He does not want Leon to rob him of this situation. If he can figure out all of his little tricks, then that's it for the Koopa King. Okay, you saw Suarez was giving up a little bit of stage control there, being a little bit intimidated by Bowser. Leon, looking for this opening, trying to stay grounded a bit, waits for him to land down on the ground. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Hail Mary smash attacks from Leon. He's getting I, the damage. He's playing level. passive now, that's the issue. And honestly, it's probably smart for him to be doing that. Okay, 130%, Leon's gotta be careful. Good, up he had his shield, doesn't, no egg leg coming out from Suarez. He's at jumps. Managed to air dodge right through, gets the down air, not, does not get a follow up right afterwards, getting a little bit too hungry. Egg Ac roll. Accidental input, probably. No Yoshi's ever done that on purpose. Oh, he ha he tried to parry it, but then let go and the in pop time. Pop-off going out from Suarez, 3-0 victory in his favor. But Leon almost brought that back. To me, it felt like what you were saying during game one, Hangman. It was that like there was a little bit of matchup inexperience happening there from Leon. And as the sets went on, it looked like he was starting to understand what's happening. But too little, too late, because now he's sitting down in the loser's bracket getting sent by Long Island's own Suarez. And Suarez has wanted this win for so long. He has been fought. Like, he has been headhunting <laughs> Leon for he's so popped long. Off. He just walked by us and popped off. No, yeah, he, he's my man is living, living his best life. This is a big win for the Yoshis. Not only a win, but just a 3-0, man. It's not, it's not enough just to take the W. You gotta make the statements out here. You know, in some roundabout way, Aussie, this whole tournament has been like a big, like, Almost like a crew battle, just because it is exclusively New York and New Jersey. I've seen a lot of, uh, obviously they seeded it so that New York would fight against New Jersey for round ones. But I've already seen some, like, Xeno matches. I saw Frozen fighting off against, uh, who was it, Mr. E, I think? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't remember who he was fighting against. It was a New York match happening earlier. So, like, there, there have been some uh, region kills happening, but not all over the place. Even now, we've got a, another episode of DNA happening over on the other stream. That's right.